Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number seven of my favorite 31 rock and pop albums of the 70s countdown, which we've been doing each and every day here in the month of August 2023. 31 days in a month, our 31 favorite general rock and pop albums of the decade. Today at number seven, it's the uh, fifth studio album from this American band, released May 31st, 1976. Recorded at uh, ABC Studios in Los Angeles, California, as well as A&R Studios in New York City. Produced by Gary Katz for ABC Records. I'm talking about bum, 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 The Royal Scam by Steely Dan. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, The Dan. The Dan, The Dan, it's all about The Dan. The amazing Steely Dan, one of the most incredible bands of this time period who really uh, didn't really have a niche as far as like what kind of music you could call them, right? It's a little bit of rock, it's pop, it's jazz, it's funk, it's easy listening, it's yacht rock, right? It's all, all these sort of things. That I've even heard people call some of their music prog rock, right? I mean, it's just everything rolled into one, one of the most unique bands of all time. Uh, and again, so hard to classify and categorize. Of course, the two main guys in the band, Donald Fagan, lead vocals, keyboards, backing vocals, other assorted odds and ends, Walter Becker, guitar, bass guitar, both of them kind of also did the horn arrangements, right? And then as with a lot of the Steely Dan albums, post a certain point when they were actually were a band right and then it became more of kind of like a studio project with donald and walter and a whole host of studio musicians a lot of amazing players on this album including uh, paul griffin on keyboards don grolnick on keyboards mr larry carlton on guitars in fact on guitars larry carlton denny diaz Dean Parks, Elliot Randall, right? All these great players. Chuck Rainey on bass, Rick Morata on drums, Bernard Purdy on drums, Gary Coleman and Victor uh, Feldman on percussion, and Chuck Finley on trumpet. Just uh, and, and a great, great sounding album with a an amazing album cover, right? Always one of my favorite album covers from the Dan. So you know what's on this album? I mean, this has been. If it hasn't been my favorite Steely Dan album, it's it's number two for so long. Of, of late, it's been my favorite album for the last couple of years. But, you know, you got uh, Kid Charlemagne kicks it off. So good, right? Just so good with an amazing Larry Carlton guitar solo. I mean, Larry Carlton is just one of the greats of all time. Kid Charlemagne, it's fun, it's upbeat, it's groovy, it's jazzy, it rocks. I mean, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the Caves of Altamira is just absolutely stunning. Stunning song. Again, what do you call this music? It's Steely Dan music, right? Don't Take Me Alive, probably one of their hardest rockers, even though it's not a hard rock song, but uh, definitely menacing, rocking, great guitar from Larry Carlton. You got Sign In, Stranger, what a groove to that song, love the chorus. And you got the Fez. Ugh. Don't never gonna do it without your Fez on. Oh no, that's what I am. Please understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so good walter becker plays the guitar solo on that particular one the fez is so fun so infectious great side two you got green earrings terrific song dueling guitars from denny and elliot on that uh haitian divorce good layback just excellent pop stuff right there everything you did all right another good larry carlin guitar solo on that again funky jazzy good stuff and then of course the final song the title track the royal scam which you know arguably one of the great greatest song on this album at nearly seven minutes long uh it's kind of moody it's fun it's got a great chorus great arrangements more larry carlton guitar majesty on there just such a good song i love this album so many great songs i mean there are you know god i would say everything on this album you know, you know, you know, it's a really good album when the the least noteworthy song on it is "Everything You Did," and everything else is top shelf Steely Dan. Just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. All right, charting positions: Australia number thirty, Dutch album charts number fourteen, New Zealand made it to number three, UK album charts number eleven, and here in the U.S. U.S. Billboard top two hundred album charts. 
made it to number 15 made it to number 15 and it does not let's see if we got any certifications on this one i do not believe so um oh made it to gold all right so here in the states it made it to gold didn't certify anywhere else but uh gold seller 500,000 units sold here in this uh, country in the us of a so yeah classic album again uh one of those albums that you know not a barn burner around the world with you know millions and millions of sales and ch heart uh, charting highly and all that sort of thing but still a very very cool favorite album of mine so uh so yeah that's my pick for today the royal scam by steely dan the royal scam by steely dan let us know what you think of this album down in the comments below as well as your pick for today pick number seven as we march our way to number one in just a few short days we're at the final week here on the countdown so uh visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org we're on facebook we're on youtube all together all the damn time please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts and please do hit the like button before you leave also down below we get the links to our ko-fi page for channel donations we've got our cameo link we've got our website link all that good stuff is down below as well as our merch page so thanks in advance for all your support on all that stuff and uh, for those of you wondering why I, i'm every now and then you're not supposed to it, it's it's proper uh like tv production etiquette that when you're on a you know uh like a torso shot right or a head shot that you shouldn't have more than you know like 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 this is way too much headroom right that is pretty much acceptable uh, in fact depending on where how i sit in my chair right that that is good you should have a little bit but uh and you shouldn't look like this right and you shouldn't look like this so those of you wondering why i'm always adjusting uh it's because you know you want to get it perfect because i remember back in college you know tv tv production class back in college right when you were on camera they always told the uh well, when you were working the cameras, they always told you exactly how much headroom you're supposed to have. So I've taken all that knowledge from all these years later, and now I'm finally utilizing it, right? Um, and so I, I always constantly look at myself, and I'm like, every now and then I count, I'm like, oh, way too much headroom. And it's hard because sometimes, like, you know, especially when we're doing the panel shows, sometimes, you know, there's lots of people talking, and it's not my turn, and I'm just kind of sitting and moderating and listening, and I'll tend to sit back a little bit, and all of a sudden I notice, I'm like, whoa, there's like a foot above my head. That's no good, right? So I either straighten up or I straighten my camera. So anyway, I'm totally derailing the conversation here about uh, college days, TV production skills and techniques and things. So anyway, it's all about the Dan today. Steely Dan, the Royal Scam, pick number seven. List your pick down below. This is on the, I did all that stuff anyway. We'll see you tomorrow for number six, right? So what do we got coming up? In just a little while, Martin Popoff, of course, is coming into the, uh, into the Zoom studio for another Friday morning at the Fun House. We got Ken Golden coming in later today for the Professor's Picks. We've got tomorrow. We got the UK connection. Simon, Stephen, and myself will be ranking the songs on a classic album. That album is Y and T's Earthshaker. And then on Sunday, we've got uh, a very cool program for ranking the albums. Lewis Nasser and myself will be ranking the solo albums of Mr. Pete Townsend of the who so that's coming up on sunday we've also got another very special program which i'm not going to announce quite yet which is also happening this weekend which you'll see uh on sunday evening i mean saturday evening so i'm, I'm bringing a uh, special guest on to the channel for a special show a special prog themed show many of you i'm sure have seen this gentleman before on his own channel uh, i'll be announcing more uh, over the next day and before that uh debuts and i think that will be a lot of fun so uh, anyway more to come on that. Till then, I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you real soon here on the channel. Bye-bye.